Welcome to Known Unknowns. A mob in northwestern Pakistan attacked and set ablaze a century-old Hindu temple on Wednesday, officials said, prompting condemnations from the Muslim-majority country's Hindu community. Hindus are the largest non-Muslim majority in the country, which gained independence from British rule in 1947, when the subcontinent was partitioned into Muslim-majority Pakistan and Hindi-majority India. Crowd breaking apart blocks of the temple structure's walls using stones and sledgehammers, as dark smoke from a large fire billowed into the sky. Local Muslim clerics had organized what they told police would be a peaceful protest against the alleged expansion of the temple, located in a town in Karak district, in northwestern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, Ramatullah ear, a police officer in the town, told. He added that clerics leading the protest started provocative speeches, following which the crowd attacked the temple. It was a mob and then nobody was there to stop them from damaging the temple, Wazir said, adding that most of the structure had been damaged. District Police Chief Ifan Allah Khan told Reuters nine people had been arrested on suspicion of taking part in the attack. The temple was first built in the early 1900s as a shrine. But the local Hindu community left in 1947 and by 1997 the site had been taken over by local Muslims. In 2015, Pakistan's Supreme Court ordered it be handed back to the Hindu community and the shrine rebuilt, on condition that it would not be expanded in the future. This is a barbaric way to deal with minorities. We are shocked and hurt, and, the incident has, sent a wave of insecurity in Hindu community, Haroon Subjil, a local leader of the Hindu community, said in an interview. Subjil said while local Hindus had relocated from the village, devotees still travel there every Thursday to visit the shrine. Pakistan's Minister for Human Rights Shireen Mazari condemned the incident. Earlier this year, Rights watchdog Amnesty International called on Pakistani authorities to protect the right to freedom of religion and belief for the country's beleaguered Hindu community, incorporated looting the construction of temples to exercise that right.